Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which external SSD are you using right now, and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Seagate Barracuda Fast – Best Multipurpose SSD Seagate Barracuda Fast SSD lives up to its name, but only if you're talking about external USB storage with SATA drives inside from a couple of years ago. Most vendors have moved on to NVMe internals to take advantage of the doubled bandwidth that SuperSpeed USB 10 GPPS offers. The Barracuda Fast SSD is available in three capacities, 500GB, 1TB size that we've tested, and 2TB. It's billed as a USB-C drive, which tells you nothing other than it sports a USB-C connector. As mentioned, the USB is SuperSpeed 10 GPPS. The drive technology is SATA, not NVMe, as with some of the only slightly pricier competition. The Barracuda Fast SSD is a solid drive in Seagate's SSD portfolio. The new green and black design is sleek and the green LED is a nice touch. It features USB-C connectivity and easy-to-use backup as well as folder mirroring software, a fully reversible USB-C cable and is available in a range of different capacities from 500GB to 2TB. It also features a 3-year limited warranty. Overall, this drive has the aesthetic to fit in on even the most high-tech desk and offers a mainstream performance profile that'll be a perfect fit for most Office users or even casual gamers. It's got a nice speed profile like its name claims and has enough capacity for a library of games or whatever your media of choice is that you'd like to take on the go with you. Number 4. WD Black P50 – Best for Gaming Marketed to gamers, WD's Black P50 game drive offers 20 Gbps speeds for those who have the USB's 3.2 Gen 2x2 ports but it's better suited to creative professionals. WD rates the Black P50 to deliver upwards of 2 Gbps read and write over its USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 interface. This performance is based on the speed of the SLC cache, however, and will degrade under large transfers. The WD Black P50 doesn't feature a dynamic SLC cache like most SSDs these days, Instead, it leverages a small static SLC cache and a fast cache recovery policy for responsive and consistent performance. The portable SSD comes pre-formatted as XFAT for cross-platform compatibility. Whether you use it on a Mac, PC, PlayStation or Xbox, compatibility is plug-and-play. WD's Black P50 game drive lacks software support but comes with two-foot-long USB cables, one USB Type-C and the other USB Type-C to Type-A. The best part of the P50's physical design is that its uniqueness looks intentional, similar to the way that Lassie's rugged drives have embraced the industrial chic aesthetic. The value proposition of the WD Black P50 for PC users comes wholly down to whether you have access to a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 port on your gaming rig. This is opposed to many other ruggedized drives, some of which have mil-spec certifications but lack any features that could be described as stylish. Content creators in search of a new work drive who don't have the funds to spend on the more expensive SanDisk Extreme Pro V2 will find the WD Black P50 games drive to be very compelling. Leveraging the company's Black SN750, the P50 games drive excels in reading and writing large files and is one of the fastest and most consistent writing SSDs we've tested. Number 3. Adata SE800 – Best Rugged SSD if you want or need a waterproof portable SSD, Adata's SE800 is a great pick. It offers up to 10 GPPS performance at competitive prices too. Adata's SE800 is a travel-ready storage device ready to take on almost any adventure. With IP68 dust and water resistance, along with military-grade drop ratings, the SE800 should hold up well both on and off the road. And with a fairly low price per gigabyte for a 10 GPPS portable SSD, it's a great deal for those looking to get more bang for their portable storage buck. In fact, it's one of the best portable SSDs you can buy. 72.7 by 44 by 12.2 millimeters and with a weight of only 40 grams excluding the cable, it has a smaller footprint compared to the Samsung T3 and T5 and is lighter as well. It's slightly thicker though, probably because it needs extra protection to earn its IP68 certification. Adata claims that the drive can reach read and write speeds of up to 10 Gbps when combined with a USB 3.2 Gen 2 connector, not to be confused with a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2, which can reach up to 20 Gbps in theory. 
The A data features stronger large file transfer performance, and it'll dramatically outperform the Crucial X8 in large 120GB plus file transfers. The SE800 even writes faster than the much more expensive Samsung T7 Touch. Number 2. Le C Rugged SSD Pro – Best High-End SSD the Lacy Rugged SSD Pro external drive is designed for professional videographers and others who work in the field with Thunderbolt 3 equipped computers, most often Macs. Small, light, and even mailable, it earns the right to add extremely in front of fast and rugged. For many users, an IP67 rated ruggedized portable SSD will be a rather expensive piece of storage overkill. However, for the adventurous few, the peace of mind Lassie's rugged SSD Pro will bring when you're out in the world might well be worth the extra expense. The rugged SSD Pro is almost as fast as many internal drives. NVMe over Thunderbolt 3 will do that for you. The grippy silicon covering of the rugged SSD Pro makes it one of my favorite external drives. But it's very fast and can be used via Thunderbolt 3 or USB doesn't hurt either. I'm a fan of the Lacy Rugged SSD, and I'd recommend it highly to anyone who works in less than ideal conditions and for whom price is no object. I personally like the form factor and grippiness of the covering better than the like-priced X5s, and to be honest, I found myself reaching for the Rugged SSD Pro more often than its rival, despite the speed deficit. Number 1. Samsung T5 – Best Overall as you may know, the solid-state drivers have been the most attractive choice since their release. They deliver immense speeds that are not possible in hard disk drivers. But the thing is that they're a little bit pricey. Coming up, we have an excellent external solid-state drive that's pretty affordable, has excellent speeds, beautiful design, and is very compact too. The Samsung T5 is a portable SSD that allows data transfer over USB-C. In most cases, it's used as a portable hard drive, but it can be used for video and audio recording too. The Samsung T5 has a pretty good-looking design and is very portable. It's tiny, as it weighs just 2.3 by 0.4 by 3 inches in total and weighs 1.8 ounces. It has a full metal construction with its rounded edges and sleek brushed finish, and in my opinion, it's one of the best-looking SSDs out there. It's very minimalistic, and on the front, it only has the Samsung logo which, in my opinion, looks pretty good. In terms of performance, Samsung T5 delivered some pretty capable copy speeds, achieving 433 megabyte per second read speeds and 323 megabyte per second write speeds. And if you've used a USB Type-C second generation connector, you can achieve speeds of up to 540 Mbps for reading and 515 Mbps for write speeds. In the package, you'll find Type-C to Type-C and Type-C to Type-A cables, and a 256-bit AES hardware encryption and software suite for your security. It's one of the best in the market, without a doubt. Buying Guide Endurance Flash memory cells can be written to only so many times before wearing out. You'd have to write hundreds of terabytes of data to even begin to wear out most SSDs, though and few people approach that limit. But better endurance is a bonus, especially if you're using the drive for high-intensity tasks such as 4K video editing. Since SSD manufacturers don't report durability ratings for external drives, only for internal models, we keep an eye on customer reviews for reliability information. For example, we note that when reviewers mention that their SSDs run hot, too much heat during operation can shorten drive life or indicate that the drive is defective. Drive speed SSDs provide dramatically faster transfer speeds, less waiting for files to copy, than mechanical drives, and we tested both sequential and random speeds. Although fast sequential speeds are important for transferring and backing up large blocks of data to your drive, quick random speeds are essential if you must run programs or games directly off the portable SSD. Note that we don't recommend the latter. An internal solid-state drive is faster than an external drive, and with an internal drive, you don't have to worry about corruption from a cable getting disconnected. Price Most consumer drives range from 120GB to 2TB. While 120GB drives are the cheapest, they aren't roomy enough to hold a lot of software and are usually slower than their higher-capacity counterparts. Many companies have begun phasing out those low capacities. It costs as little as $15 extra to step up from 120 to 250GB in size, and that's money well spent. 
The delta between 250GB and 500GB drives can be small as well. The sweet spot between price, performance and capacity for most users used to be 500GB, but increasingly 1TB is becoming the better choice, particularly when 1TB drives slip to $100 or less.